welcome back to my channel. Um, we have covered uh, the basic pronunciation of Vietnam, like we have over how to pronounce all the alphabet letters and then the consonants, the vowels, and also the consonant cluster, and also uh, have like three or four examples for each sound. So um, in today's lesson, I'm going to introduce to you the rule of making the sound like combination between vowels or between vowel and ending consonant and then you can know how to say the that combination with a beginning consonant and then you can you will be able to pronounce all Vietnamese words so when you know the rule there is no word you can't produce can't pronounce okay let's get started Okay, first of all, I want to introduce you some like when you see the Vietnamese words, when you read the Vietnamese words, there are something you need to know before you start studying the pronunciation rule. Okay, here, I write them down already. So, uh, every syllable is written separately by a space. So, for example, by a space it has three syllables and it has the spaces between its syllable here but in english there are some words that have two or three or four or even more syllables and not separately so that is the long word for example this is separately so separately it has four syllables but vietnamese each syllable we have a space Okay, and a syllable is called a chữ. chữ. So earlier I introduced to you the alphabet that is bản chữ cái. So it has chữ in that. Okay, that is chữ. So each word, you now each syllable is chữ. A word can have like hai, like hai chữ, two syllables. Or maybe more, or maybe just three. Sometimes it's com uh, is a uh, complex noun, so it can have more. Now, and it is called tiếng, tiếng, the sound that is made, or âm um, in speaking. Âm um is more like the vowel part, but we also use tiếng or âm um to talk about the sound that we hear. Okay. Second point, every syllable needs at least one vowel to be pronounceable, okay? So, because in English, I see the word that is like, like um, tourism. So, the reason is doesn't have any vowel, right? But in Vietnamese, any word needs a vowel. Okay, every word needs a vowel to be pronounceable. And then each syllable is pronounced separately. And then we don't link the verb, we don't link the words or the syllables. Like between syllables or words, we don't have the linking. Like in English, you when you speak fast, you will link them like there is a, there is a dog in the house. So you link the ending consonant of the front word and the beginning vowel of the, uh, of the back word. And then you link the sound. In Vietnamese, we don't link the sound. Okay, I, I, I think you know what I mean, okay? Each word is pronounced the same. And also we don't change the tones even when it's together, together. It's different with Chinese. Chinese, if you have the first and the first tone together you chant or the third and the third tone together you chant the first word in Vietnamese we don't chant I think that is the good news we stick stay stable okay now next the rule to pronounce words is consistent yay <laughs> it is so hard to pronounce like to find or to remember English 
uh, pronunciation rule because it's not there is not actually a rule because English is uh, like a dead word words or, or pronunciation rules from many languages but Vietnamese uh, our language uh, writing system uh, was established like kind of lately in the 90s so we have the consistent rule of pronoun pronunciation or spelling okay if the words are written the same way they are pronounced the same way there is no such thing like i read a book and i read a book yesterday no okay <laughs> so so let's get deeper into each word a chữ a syllable includes three parts we have a beginning consonant sometimes it is not needed because it's not obligatory okay and next we have a vam and we have the tone we have six tones you already know that so what is a vam okay a vam can be created by a vowel or some vowels or vowels with ending consonant so okay don't worry i'll talk more with the example in the next page here let me make my trace bigger Okay, because we have space here. Right. Now, so the construction of a yu, a syllable, is a beginning consonant, not obligatory, with the van and tone. And this is how it is written. I gave you some example here. For example, the words that you know already, a bit, nam. Vietnam. So you can see each syllable, we have a space here. And then let's talk about the first syllable. We have Vietnam. So V is the consonant. The I, E, T here, T, E with the hat, this is the VAN. Okay. And the dot here is the tone. So there's only one tone that it stays below the words, the, the letters, this is the dot tone, yo nam, the very lowest, the lowest tone, nam, nam, uh, uh. you have to use your muscle here, your glottal stop, your glottal here. Okay, so this is the beginning consonant, this is van, and this is yo, okay, this is beginning consonant, this is van and this word has no tone. Không dấu. Okay, không dấu. And next one. Let's try this. So we have bánh mì. Okay, the, most, uh, the most popular and delicious fast food in Vietnam and so cheap. Okay, bánh mì. So, b, b here is, is the beginning consonant. And the A and H is VAN. And the tone is YÊU SHAK. Okay. BAN. Okay. And next. So we have M as the beginning consonant. And we have I as VAN. And this VAN is created by one vowel only. Okay. No other vowels and no ending consonant. And we have YÊU HUYEN. The down tone is the tone. Okay. Next one is this one. Pho, also the most popular dish, uh, the Vietnamese dish that all the foreigners know. Okay. Pho. So this one, the beginning consonant is a complex consonant. It's a consonant cluster created by P and H. Together, it's made a beginning consonant. And the van here is just a letter ơ, ơ. And dấu hỏi is the tone. Dấu hỏi is the tone. Okay. Let's say for example here. Okay. See that if you can guess, you can say them correctly. So the first one is an exclamation, like to show your, your feeling of something like, like you know, you know, Astromas when he found out about the the rule of uh, 
like the pushing fox when you jump into water. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce his name correctly because we transliteration his name, his name. So basically kind of misusing the, 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 the original English name or the translation Vietnamese name. So as she met, so when he found out the, the, the explanation about that fox, he said, Orica. So that like, ah, in Vietnamese, like, ah, I know this, ah, okay. Ah, here's just one vowel only. Like also, or you can call someone that like little, little younger than you a lot, you say, eh, but that is not a formal way to call it someone, okay? Eh is just informal, okay. Okay, next is am um, to eat. Um, I just text, uh, I just can text some examples like that to show you the variations of this structure. So this one, one vowel only, that is the obligatory uh, to uh, for a word to be pronounceable. The second one is am um, to eat. It has one vowel, it just has one. It doesn't have the beginning consonant. Okay, so it has one vowel and one ending consonant. Am um, and không dấu, no tong, không dấu. Okay, next one is hỏa. So you can easily see this one, it has a beginning consonant and H is the beginning consonant. And this part, O, A is the VAN, VAN, and this is YAU. Okay, so this VAN has two consonants. Next one, what is the beginning consonant here? And what is the VAN combination here? I'll give you three seconds. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. So, because this one is a consonant complex or clusters, so the G and the I is the consonant, the beginning consonant. G and I is beginning consonant. It is pronounced Z in northern in the north or yeah <laughs> in the south so so because i'm living in the south so usually i just say like yeah yeah and ah uh, here is the one it's just one vowel and yo shak is the tone yeah yeah okay or za za either way okay next one i'll give you three seconds too one two, three. Okay, so this one it is kind of the same rule as the previous one. The Q and U here make a consonant cluster or consonant complex. So the U here, it is not a part of one. This is a part of a consonant. Oh, sorry, where is my pointer? Okay, here. Maybe I need to use the laser point. Okay. So this makes the consonant gua. Gua. Mm -hmm. Gua. And the a, uh, the a with the half and n is van. Van is, oh, here in this word is a uh and n. Van. A uh and n. Um. And then the dot here is yau nan. So you have gua. Gua. An. So this part is pronounced atn, quatn, district, right? Right. So like district one in Ho Chi Minh City or some district in Hanoi. Okay. Next one. One, two, three. Okay, let's go. The beginning consonant here is V, of course, in Van, it is included. Uh, u, a, n in the ending consonant here. So, u, a, n. So, when you say u, a, n, you say it fast and then you have un, un, and the tone is vern, vern. Okay, this one is pronounced vern. Next, 
Ma is the beginning consonant. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't give you three seconds, but I, I think you get it. So don't need to waste more time to make this video too long. Okay. E, A, N is the van, is the combination, the ending combination. And this is the rise and like down and up tone. Mian, dấu ngã, the tone is called dấu ngã. Okay, and the word is pronounced mẹn, mẹn, it's like in free, mẹn phí. Okay. Oh, and this next is, this is the longest uh, word or longest chữ syllable in Vietnam, in Vietnamese, sorry. It has seven letters, that's all. We don't have like 20 letters in one word in English. Okay, so all oh, this this consonant cluster is the longest too that's perhaps that's why it get it is the longest so it's n g and h that make the ng ng sound that is the difficult sound for most english speakers so because the rule of uh, the n g and n g h is that if the vowel is e a a you need to put h in the between and then just make one continent cluster here in G8. So you use this glottal to stop the air, and then you drop, open your mouth and, uh, and get air coming out. Okay, so my tongue is just stay relaxed in, in inside my mouth. And it's kind of a little curve, like normal not like flat, it's a little curve like this. Okay, so this is E, E, N, and then the VAN is pronounced IEN, IEN, and with the consonant it is NIEN, NIEN, NIEN. Okay, yeah. Are you keeping up with me? Okay, let's do keep. This is great. Are you still with me? Okay, let's call it. Still with me? Okay, next. So, uh, a quick reviewing about the beginning consonants and the adapter. So, this is ba ba we have 17 beginning consonant okay ba uh single consonant sorry ba ka ya da da ga ga ha ka this is we call ga but we pronounce the same with this one and the rule is with e a a it goes I, i'll talk about the rule later this is La, la, ma, na, pa, qua, ra, sha. So this one and this one doesn't stand alone. Okay. It needs uh, the U and the I to make the consonant, the beginning consonant. Ra, sha, pa, va, sa. Okay. Next is the consonant clusters but still the beginning. So we don't have so many ending consonants like in English. So this is kha, kha, kha. Okay. Kha, kha. Ja, ja, ja. Ga, ga, the same, okay. Nga, nga, the same. Nga, nga, nya, nya, nya. Fa. Fa, fa, right? If you like to eat fa, this is the consonant. Ta, ta, ta. Dra, dra, dra. Z, 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 or ya, z, ya. When I want to differentiate the sound between this and this in my southern accent, I say this is a ya and this is a yi or a z. Mm. Okay. This is gua. Easy. 
Next is the ending consonant. We don't have so many ending consonants, just these eight, okay? Ma. So if you connect the E, like the E, the I, I is pronounced E in Vietnamese, so it's quite easy. So I'm gonna say like in, you see, na, in, like tin, tin, nga, in, okay, and NH and T and P. Oh, we will go uh, clearer later. So like, because I will have more examples that would be easier. So a little note here with four ending consonant here. It can only go with your sharp, the rising tone, or your nặng, the dark tone, the lowest tone. And they can't, can't be without the tone, without the tone. Like you can wrote them without tone. The only for example here, this is gap, 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 gap. So gap, gap. That's all. Gap, gap. Next, back, back. So this is the T of the C ending. This is T ending. Back, back. This is back. I, I, I am giving examples with the vowel A for easy. Okay, this is CH. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, eh, eh. <laughs> cat, cat, bat, 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 cut, cut. I hope you can hear the difference between each ending. 